the thwip. Is it thwip or either way? Okay, okay, so I can't talk about Disney news and not bring up the recent price hike that Disney announced on all their annual passports. Yes, it sucks to have to pay more. Yes, it was way earlier than it has been historically. But I get it, sort of. Now I'm sure there are a lot of reasons as to why Disney increased the prices this time around. Now I don't like the idea and the thought that Disney raised prices to help fund the new Star Wars land expansion. Because to me that implies that they didn't have the money to begin with and they couldn't have afforded it otherwise. Now I'm pretty sure with as many trips as I've made to Disneyland this year that I personally have funded at least a ride or two. Or at least like a walk around Wookiee. Now others are speculating that it is to help with the overcrowding and the overall busyness of the parks. To me this makes the most sense. The premium passport was split into two options, the Signature and the Signature Plus. Now the Signature Passport, which is most similar to its former iteration, the Premium Passport, costs $70 more, but it takes out the two busiest weeks of the year during Christmas and New Year's. So that means you're blocked out during the busiest times. And now while I am never comfortable paying more money for less, it does come with a new feature, and that is photo pass downloads, which some people might find as a value. This includes photos taken by photographers placed around the parks and on-ride photos. Maybe now we won't have to see a bunch of blurry cell phone snaps of people on Splash Mountain with numbers over their head. And the people will rejoice. Yay. Now a lot of people are getting hung up on the 1049 price of the Signature Plus Passport, which offers no blackout days. <laughs> but no matter how you slice it, you're still just paying $200 more for the ability to go during Christmas and New Year's time. Is it worth it to you? Now in other news that may bug you, Disney Parks Blog just announced that Spider-Man will be arriving in Disneyland on November 16th. Spider-Man. Hmm. Now I get it, Spider-Man is Marvel, Disney owns Marvel, so it's all tied together. They even have a cartoon on Disney XD just on Spider-Man. I mean, Disney even went as far as to make deals with Sony to have their own Spider-Man picture and Spider-Man will appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I get it, but it still just feels a little weird. Now the update also mentions a reimagined superhero HQ in the Tomorrowland Expo Center, where you can meet other heroes like Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America. Finally they can come back inside. Maybe it's just me, but I think a couple umbrellas next to a popcorn cart was a little unfitting for Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Now in today's last bit of news, you may have noticed recently that Disney kicked Duffy the Disney Bear out of California Adventure, but news just surfaced that his best friend Shelly Mae will be hitting the Disneyland Resort this fall. Now is it just me or does Shelly Mae look awfully familiar? It's almost as if Duffy put in spray and highlights, some fake eyelashes, and a bow. Hmm. Personally, I'm hoping this leads to an appearance of a Gelatoni, who is a similar looking character, but he's a cat, and he's an artist. Hmm? What would you paint with Gelatoni? Guys, that's it for now. Be sure to comment down below with all your thoughts. I like to know what you think. I like to talk to you guys. So leave it all down there. Be sure to hit that big thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and subscribe for more Disney news, Disney art, and maybe a couple laughs. I will see you real soon. Goodbye.